December 6th already. Goodness sakes, good morning. Tip of the Grants Sound Advice Coffee Cup to you this morning. This is the official one, of course. Um, the unofficial one is resting. Anyhow, good morning. It is, I just said it, it's Monday, December 6th, and Monday is about getting the week going intentionally. So uh, last Friday, I hit a milestone um, in my year for things I was trying to accomplish, and I was very pleased. Um, it's been a lot of hard work, and I'm going to go into this, I think, either tomorrow on Tech I don't. It's not going to be today. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go into it a little bit further, and it's going to be a longer post than normal because it's going to kind of be a. Uh, I don't know. I may leave that for the end of the year. I don't know. We'll see. Anyhow, good morning and how are you? Hi. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, intentionally go into the week. We've been talking about that for several weeks now, and I think it's really important that we set an intention of doing a certain thing. Maybe it's a sales goal. I'm going to do make a number up. It doesn't matter because depending on your industry. Uh, $500 for one person may be a good week, and 50000 may be good for another one because they sell large machinery. I don't know. But that's not up to me. That's up to you. Set an intentional sales goal. Set an intentional customer service goal for ratings. Set, set some intentional goals, even if they are unrealistic. And that means it doesn't matter because the goal is what matters in your achievement of how you're going to approach things. So... $50,000 is a ridiculous number. I can't do that in a week if I thought if I got every major commercial in the world, I'm not going to make 50 grand this week. Um, so let's just say it's a $5,000 week. That is well and above anything I could hope to make. But what if I was setting myself with the intention of a $5,000 week with the intention of what all can I do this week to make $5,000? And then headed towards that, and let's say I fail miserably and only make 500 or 1,000 or 1,500 or 2,000, that's still going to be a pretty nice week in the point of achievement. Can I survive on that? Yeah, I, I could. Is that what I want to be when I grow up? No, but that's not the point of this. So what are your goals for December? What are your goals for this week? Write them down. Put them on a vision board. Put them somewhere where you have to look at them all the time and be thinking every day, am I doing the thing? Whatever that thing is, am I doing the thing? Am I doing the things, plural, that get me to that goal? I read a quote this morning that says, it's not who you are that holds you back. It's what you think you're not. And a lot of times we all, I think, at some point or another, have a thought of we're not enough. We're not enough. And fill in the blank. It doesn't matter. We're not enough. We're not a good enough mom, not a good enough dad, not a good enough voice service, don't have good enough equipment, don't have the right clientele. Okay, you just threw up all kind of barriers that are holding you back that have nothing to do with you, your abilities, and your ability to face the world. So, on that note, thank you for listening this morning. Tomorrow morning will be Tech Tuesday, and I'll figure out what I'm going to do with uh, my thoughts from earlier. Um, don't know yet, but uh, have an intentionally good Monday on me. Talk to you tomorrow.